down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, my niggas, they gon' spaz out. There. You try to rip it packs, wasting money, not getting anything in return. Well, visit BobMuckCoin.com and use promo code JMail for 10% off to get the God Squad you always wanted. YouTube is your boy JMF Flow, aka Mr. Gonna go bringing y'all some old Madden 18 weekend league gameplay. And I, I'm showing y'all the team right now just because there's gonna be three games playing behind your boy. You know what I'm saying? Just because weekend league, there's a lot of bazookas, and I'm gonna show y'all why I'm talking after the games instead of doing because it's just a lot of bazookas. I'll be just trying to chew clock, getting games, get out because it's a lot of people. And weekend league, like I said, they they not really that good. They don't know what they're doing. It's a level of competition a little higher, yeah. But you still just run into bazookas and whatnot. But like I said, y'all, y'all know your boy J Mel T G the exposed guy. Yes, I still am the exposed guy. I'm Lurk Jesus. I'm the user guy. It's a lot of things I am. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't really play much uh, weekend league a lot. To, a lot like I can't ever finish 25 games in two days. I did that the first week. That was it. So now I just decided your boy is gonna become a mad in weekend league. I'm gonna just be a mad in weekend league bully. I'm the weekend league bully, bro. You know, like I said, I'm Lurk Jesus. I'm the user god, you know, TG, the exposed god. That's what I do. I'm everything. So I'm also now the weekend league bully. That's what we came to do. Now I'm just gonna come in, you know, because I'm not gonna ever play the finish full 25 games. I'm just gonna come in. We're just gonna bully some people, you know. We're gonna bully them. We're gonna mess up a few people's records. Just mess with some, a few people's heads. And I'm gonna show y'all why. This is the first game I got into. Obviously, you can tell this dude is not that good. Like from the first play, I tell all y'all. You can always tell if a dude is good or not. From the first place he started running, I'm like, okay, it's about to be an easy dub. It's about to be simple. It's about to be easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Too easy. It's about to be easy. I'm Lurk Jesus. It's about to be easy, right? Uh, Yeah, that's what I thought at first. So, a second and nine. Obviously, he's coming out. I'm just standing three, four eyes till he gets me out of it. I'm like, let me just send some heat at him. Let's see how he takes it. See how he handles it. We send him heaters at him and we scream it. We send them heaters at them. Like I said, we scream. We doing our thing. Like I said, I want to take time out to tell y'all I love all y'all boys. But right here, this is why. Y'all see... This is not your phone lagging. This is nothing pausing. This is the EA servers. This is the servers that happens with Madden. And this is why I'm done playing Weekend League. Like the whole trying to play the whole 25 games. Never happen again. You will never get that from me. Ever again. There we go. So what's the point of me playing 25 games in two days? Which is a lot of time. 25 games in two days is a lot of time. So, and you, you telling me every game I risk going against someone who's going to get bailed out somehow, fluke kicker turn, fluke fumble, or I risk losing connection to servers. And y'all know how, how big of a loss it is in weekend league. Like, you lose one time, that can knock you 20, 30 spots down on leaderboards. And because, obviously, I was better than that dude, he, big Jimmy gets a free win. Little Jimmy gets a free win just because just because y'all decided y'all servers going to be trash that day. You know what I'm saying? That's why I decided I don't take weekend league serious no more. But y'all see the new offense be coming out here. I think this is the best I've been playing offense and defense all year. I think once I get this offense together, like real, real together, like I'm running the New York Giants offense right now. Once I get the reads down and find more uh, cover four beaters, you know what I'm saying, cover two, uh, more better run plays. I just got into this offense two days ago. And y'all see. We already up here throwing dots. So, like I said, but we did hop into another game. We do got AP. We do got the new team as we go up 7-0. What I love about Weekend League, though, one thing I do love about Weekend League is the fact that, uh, is the fact that, uh, you do play higher competition. And I do like the fact that people are playing higher competition. As I told y'all to look, lurk God, lurk Jesus. That's who I am. So when I, I like bringing y'all games where I play higher competition, that's why I don't got the face cam on right now. Y'all know when you playing a game with a face cam on, look at this though. Look at this. Look, look, look at Derek Carr go beast mode. And this is, the, this is another reason. Why would I play weekend league when stuff like this happens? Y'all like, well, J-Mail, that happened for you. I don't care if the fluke happens for me, against me. When fluky stuff happens, I'm going to speak up about it. That play should have never happened. I should have lost 10 yards. I got bailed out. That's... Probably the big, a bigger bailout than what he, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's probably one of the biggest bailouts I've seen in Madden all year. A QB just broke four tackles and gained nine yards. And then very next play, boom, we throw the strike to Jordan Reed and score a touchdown. That just got to be so demoralizing to him. He played good defense. I broke four tackles, rushed for nine yards. Next play, break a tackle for a drag route, get a touchdown. 
But I tell y'all, we can do this together. The, the fluke needs to be fought. The, this is why, I, like I said, I don't take Weekend League that serious, but I am the Weekend League bully. This is what we do. But right there, as you see, I think he gonna actually go into the end zone because, you know, we missing hit sticks. Bad stick work by me. Good play by him. He actually got down to the two-yard line. I'm pretty sure he gets in the end zone somehow, some way. Yeah, right here on two people. Bruh. I guess you can say the fluke goes both ways, but is this is that fun to y'all though? Let me know. Let me know if this is enjoyable to y'all. Like, can you honestly sit there for two days and play 25 games where that can happen every game? No, I can't do that. So that's why your boy just out here bullying in these streets. I'm back to doing what I do. We, you know, last year all we did was play the game. We exposed some trash talker, exposed trash talking bum. That's what we did. But like I said, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Be sure to follow your boy on Twitter. I know I know, I got a Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. They all on the screen. Keep up with me. I love all y'all. I want y'all to be as involved in this community as possible. I want y'all to be on Twitch. I want y'all to know these other people. Like, I want everybody to get to know everybody in the community. You know what I'm saying? I know the mad community is small, but I feel like we can have a lot of fun over here if we play our cards right. But right here, y'all see my boy, uh, 3rd and 14. We got nowhere to go. But what do I do? I just throw it away. I just throw it away. Just throw away. Third and 14. Didn't want to risk it. I probably could have took a drag route. But fourth and 14 right here. I think this is the best uh, dot I've ever seen Derek Carr throw. I threw a touch pass. And look at Amari Cooper stretch out for that ball. I'm 7 for 8. 156 yards. Like I said, y'all. This new offense, I literally have to throw another dart to Amari Cooper. Like, y'all see my percentages all every game is like 9 for 10. 11 for 14. Uh, 13 for 15. Like, they all... This whole offense has been so good. I'd be handing it to AP. Get in for another Liddy touchdown. That's why I love that man, AP, though. I love that man. I told y'all. The Mutt Bully, though. I love I love uh, this head-to-head. -head, but as y'all see, all the bells. All the bells are happening. Like, all the bells. I think most of the fluke did go this way my game. Uh, we throw a nice uh, pass to Jordan Reed. But let me know how y'all been doing in Weekend League. A lot of people like, J-Man, you ain't playing Weekend League. Trash. Could you try to shoot this, shoot that? No, I don't play. Like I said, I don't play weekend league because it's just uh, a lot of games. Like I said, this is the second game. We up 28 to 6. Uh, I love this defense, though. I love the defense I'm starting to play now. I think I'm playing the best defense I've played all year. Like, I've been sitting in 3-3-5 odd. Uh, we starting to sit in Tampa 2. And as we starting to get better corners, like, uh, I think we just passed pick up the Terrence Newman with a 94 zone. we just been dominating, bro. Dominating. As y'all see, we forcing another rage quit. And this is why I like playing off camera. When I'm off camera, bro, when I'm off camera... Like, when a camera's on, you always got to stay interactive with the viewers. But when the camera's off, I'm still trying to give y'all good content, so I'm still playing good, but I don't got to worry about the camera no more, so I can just focus on the game, and I'm talking now. So that's why, I honestly, like, y'all see me blowing people out. Usually when I'm in stream or something, I, I, I can still play good, but not as best as I can play. Now, right here, right here, fourth and sixth, a huge, huge play in this game. Huge. I think this is the most important play in the game. Uh, I will tell y'all this later. But uh, if y'all didn't see why, uh, basically, uh, it was fourth and six. He had two verts. I was sending six people. I was in cover two. I was using the middle by myself. I can only choose one vert to cover. I chose the wrong one. He completed that pass. Now, I'm going to show y'all or tell y'all why that's going to be one of the most important plays in the game probably the biggest play of the game honestly but right look right here bro this is what i'm this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying like kendrick literally i put him in a hard flat to cover that he didn't cover it ran right by him get off me little baby boy but you just gotta live through adversity live through adversity we hold him forth and go we getting the ball in our hands we just out here bullying these streets man I know it seemed mean. It's like, it seemed like to a lot of people I'm the villain in this community. So I figured, why not take on that role, you know? So we going to be the weekend league bully. I'm just coming out bullying everybody. And I come out and gash him 18 yards on a halfback whim. When you see you gash somebody for 18 yards on a halfback whim, as y'all see AP almost fumbling, you got to keep running it. You know, I kept running wham after that because if somebody can't stop wham, y'all, like I said, you keep taking it. Right here, we come back out in our gun doubles. We find Jordan Reed for about three to four yards. We're going to hurry it up. We're going to hurry it up. Fourth and three right here. Find another dart to the 10-yard end to Amari Cooper. Like I said, look at me. What was that? I was 12 for 12 or something right there. Boom. He throw another dart. I think I'm two for two in this game to the corner route to Jordan Reed. Four for four right now. And I, as y'all see, y'all, I think my offense is just playing real good. Like, Jordan, uh, right here, though. Right here, though, third and five. He he played good D. I had a lot of time in the pocket. 
just didn't get nobody open. Ended up just throwing the ball away, taking a field goal before half. It's going to be a tie game. 3-3 three, three going into halftime. I get the ball at half. That's all that matters. I feel like if you get ball at half, and as long as you remember who gets ball at half, it, it changes the way you completely play. Because now, now that I know I get ball at half, I know he can't stop my offense. I know I'll be cool. Boom. Like I said, another darts. Jordan Reed. I know he can't stop my offense. We still got full control of this game. All I like to keep is control when I play Madden. All right here, AP, man. I really think he does get glitchy with these jukes. That's why I got him. I think this play actually coming up right here. Looks how he fakes out to defender. Look at that boy go. This is why I got AP on my team. Plays like that is carrying low, but plays like that that he can make all the time is just beautiful, bro. That's right there. Find Amari Cooper, who I really, really, I do not regret picking him up or spending the, or keeping him 300K. We're going to run a halfback Sting, Melvin Gordon, get in for them seven points. And as y'all can see, man, I don't know what it is. My defense and offense just been playing real good. Let me know in the comments how y'all been doing in Weekend League. I know a lot of y'all be tweeting at me, y'all records and stuff. Just, just let me know. Let me know how y'all boys doing. Let me know do y'all like it. Let me know if y'all think Weekend League should be played in like Draft Champs or Salary Cap. Because I honestly think Weekend League should not be played much. Because just like, it's pay to play. Like if you have a better team, you're obviously going to be at an advantage. That's right here. Sending them heaters. Like I said, I love this nigga 3D5 eye. One thing I need to show y'all right here is why y'all make adjustments as we go in and get the sack. Let's review that. Break that down. It's school with Melee Mail. Get your pencils and notepads out. Look at this screenshot right here on the screen. The first play, this is the play from the beginning of the game, the fourth and sixth. This is why I said this is the biggest play of the game. This play right here literally cost him the game. So right here, we are sending six people. We can only guard one vertical. I was using the middle by myself. So when I hike the ball in the beginning of the game, let's show y'all what happened. I have two verts to choose from. I go over to the left one just a little bit. He chooses the right one. He completes the pass, right? Now, this is when I tell y'all in my last video why play rec is so important. He comes out in the same exact set. I remember the play from the first quarter. Like, this is why play rec, this is why I say I'm smarter than a lot of these dudes. He's going to run the same exact play. But this time, I'm taking away the vertical on the right. I use her the vertical on the left. He sees that, and this is why I say, this is why, how you know where to use her. How do you, how is your user so good? How do you know where to use her, how to use her? When you know where to use her, you know how to use her. And I explained that in my last video, and as y'all can see, that's exactly what happened. Both verts wasn't open. I recognize, okay, boom, same setup. I'm still going to send the heat, but we're going to take away that vertical on the right, and this time I'm going to play one on the left. Boom, easy sack, third and 15. This is why I'm saying, when you make adjustments, it can really make a difference in the game. And then right here, for third and 15, he throws the vert to the left side again. So fourth and five is fourth and six is coming up. So I tell myself, here's what we're gonna do, bro. We're gonna do the same exact setup. Did the same exact setup, got the pick, returning to the house with Bruce Irvin. And this is why I say, y'all, when you make adjustments like that, and you can outsmart somebody like that, it can change the whole game. That one play changed the whole game. Because I was able to recognize it, remember it, know how to take it away make the right adjustments i was able to get a pick six seven points change the whole game now it's 17 and three instead of 10 to three and he has the ball trying to tie the game now i'm up two possessions change the whole game right here playing good defense once again screaming at him man screaming at him and this whole ebook is in the description you know what i'm saying this whole defense is in the description if y'all want to play right here fourth and 11 same exact setup guys but this time i gotta show y'all boys something right here we give up the play again. Y'all like, Jimmy, you, you just took it away. How'd you give it up? I honestly didn't think he's going to go back to it. I didn't think he'd run it three times in a row after it got stopped. So I figured, oh, he's doing it again. So right here, I said, all right, enough of the BS. We just going to man up both those routes on the right. Y'all see me right there. I manned up both routes. Because I said, I don't even want to worry about the routes. And I told y'all in the last video, user and when you know where the user is easy. So I said, I manned up those two routes. I don't got to worry about them. Don't even think about them. Don't even look at the right side of the field. You you, you adjust it. You don't need to. So I, I'm going to dart straight to the vertical on the left. I'm not even going to worry about the right. I manned them both up. Hopefully my adjustments are good enough. If not, good play to him. Exactly. That's my thought process, bro. When, when, I, when I adjust to something, I don't worry about it. So boom, I sprint straight to him. We get the pick. Easy. Bruce Irvin, just like that. Do your thing, big baby. I love you. I love you. But like I said, that's going to be it for the video. Love all y'all boys. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know if y'all like videos like this. 
But until the end, it's your boy J Mel Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go. You got a D stacks beat?